Hello, welcome to this video. I'm previous the tutor. We'll be looking at the revisions. So let's get to it. I have a question that says solve the equation. 6 over x minus 2 is equal to 2 divided by 3. How can we solve this equation? We always multiply when there's an equal sign like that. So this will be 3 times 6, which is equal to 2 times x minus 2. This will give you 18 is equal to 2 times x, you get 2x. 2 times negative 2, you get negative 4. Then you're saying 18. Now we correct the like terms. This one should come this side. So we are saying this will be positive 4 is equal to 2x. It's negative. So when it crosses equal sign, this side it becomes positive. So what you have here is 22, which is equal to 2x. So we are finding the value of x. So we divide both sides by 2. So you get your value of x as 11. Then, question B, 11B says simplify. So, simplify x plus 2 over x squared minus 4. Now, when you look at the top here, it's constant. You can factorize that and this other ways. Then what we have here is a difference of two squares. So, the square root of x, x squared is x. Then, square root of 4 is 2. We're going to have something like that. Again, you repeat the same, but with a different sign. Then, you cancel. Cancel this and this. What remains here, you remain with 1. 1 over. What remains here with is x minus 2. That's what you remain with. So, that's the answer. Then, let's go to b sorry c she says x plus as a single fraction in its simplest form 4 over 2x minus 1 so let me just reduce the font so we have 4 divided by 2x minus 1 minus plus 3 divided by x minus 1 so to express as a single fraction, you need to find the common denominator. And in this case, these same two variables and coefficients will be our common denominator. And we repeat the same here. Now, when you divide this one into here, you remain with this. Then this you multiply by 4. So, so this will be 4 times x minus 1 minus 3 times 2x minus 1. Then, 4 times x, it's 4x, times 1, it's 4. Negative 3 times negative 2, you get negative 6x. Then negative times negative 1, you get positive 3. Divided by the whole common denominator. Now, still going. Then we correct the like terms. Then once you've done correcting the like terms, so this and this you correct them. So as 4x minus 6x minus 4 plus 3 divided by 2x minus 1 x minus 1. Then we can finish it the other side. We have negative 2, negative 2. Then you subtract this and you get a sign from a bigger number. And what you have here is negative 1 divided by to x minus 1 x minus 1 that's a simple fraction then it says solve the inequation we have 4b minus 3 less than 6b plus 4 so it says it's the same as an equation you just get this on the other side so we have 4b minus 6b less than 4 this one will go the other side and become positive 3 so when you subtract you get negative 2b is less than 7 now what happens you divide by negative 2 you divide by negative 2 and here your answer will be b now as long as what you're dividing here is a negative your sign changes it becomes a greater than negative 7 over 2 is your answer and the other one we are factorizing. 
That one we are factorizing 2xy plus x minus 10y minus 5. First, what is common here? Uh, I can group them, all right, if I want. Then when I factorize here, I discover that there's x which is common. I would be like that. I'm going to remove 2y plus 1. And what is common here? It's 5. It's 5, yes. So that would be plus 5. Now I'll do this. This is 2y minus 1. See now? So we correct this. Now since what we have here is not the same, so we are going to have x plus 5. This and this you combine. We have 2y plus 1. We have 2y minus 1. That's the answer. What if we say we get... What if we get 2xy, we combine with 2,10y, and you say plus x minus 5. I'm going to get the same answer. I group this and this. Common here is 2 and y. So here I remain with x. Here I remain with what? 2. Sorry, not 2, but 5. Okay. Then what I have here is just 1 outside, then x minus 5. All right, so I see that I so I see that this method is giving us two y plus one. Okay, then since these are the same, just have to get one. So there you go. So you can try the other questions. These you can try them and try to answer at your own free time and solve on your own. So thank you so much.